Nicole Smith from Blend Iron Martial Arts, and today we're going to be showing you some solo drills for rapier. Now, even though you might have a club or a school that you train with, you might not always have someone to work with. Well, I'd like to give you something that you can use when you're on your own. Now I'd like to show you three different drills that you can do as a solo practitioner using a target. Now, not everyone's going to have a targeting pad at home, but most of us have a wall and put up a little paper target. What I recommend starting off with something that's about palm sized, and then you can start with moves to smaller targets, maybe like fingertip size. Now, the thing to remember is you actually want to start extending your arm first. If you try and do this all at once, you're more than likely going to miss your target. So as long as you remember that the sword moves first and this reaches its final position before you throw your lunge, you're most likely going to hit your target every time. Now, straight up lunge, fourth, and second. 50 to 100 of those. You've got your target bang on. We can start moving on to perhaps a redoublement. Start a little farther out. You're going to miss. Redouble. Back up, do it again. A third type of lunge that you can do, we call it with a gathering step. You have to start a little farther out for this one. Back leg is going to move first. Gathers in, throw your lunge, gather out. Gather in, lunge, gather out. Again, 50 to 100 times. Work on it, you'll get better. Two things to remember when you're doing your drills. First of all, I'm going to throw a lunge. Don't drop your guard when you're in this position. Remember to keep your guard up until you've retreated and you're at a safe distance from your opponent. Second thing to remember, lunging against drywall can put holes in walls. So be very, very careful when choosing your target. Thank you. Now I'd like to introduce you to some cutting drills. Now, first of all, not everyone's going to have a pellet home, um, but almost everyone will have a tree, a fence post, or something you can use. Well, if you don't have anything, do the best with what you can. We're going to start in first guard, and from here, you're going to rotate around, and you want to land about a third of the way down the blade and draw through with your cut. You're not going to chop somebody's arm off with a rapier, but if you get enough draw, you can do a significant amount of tissue damage. So again, up on your first guard, Advance, draw through. First, advance, draw through. Once you've had some practice with that, you can incorporate a thrust. Starting in your third guard position, thrust, throw your cut, draw through. Thrust, throw your cut, draw through. Again, practice that a bunch of times. Eventually, you can move into cut-thrust combinations. Throw my thrust, throw my cut, other thrust, cut, back and forth, and round and round. All right, now I'm going to show you some basic rapier footwork drills that you can do on your own. Now, if you're fortunate enough to have a patterned floor at home, you can actually use this in your training. If you've got something that's in a grid pattern, you can put one foot on one side of a line and the other foot on the other side, and just make sure that when you're doing your lunges, you're not crossing over. Nice, even 50-50 stance. I'm going to power this with my back leg. I'm going to come forward, be up on the ball of my foot in the back. When I go back, I'm going to use my back leg as well as my front leg, pulling and pushing at the same time. Ultimately, the goal is to keep your head and shoulders as level as possible, and to do this as rapidly as you can. Number two, the redouble. Sometimes you're gonna throw a lunge, and it's gonna be a little too short. What do we do? Redouble. The back leg's gonna gather up just a little bit, and you shoot forward that extra inch you might have missed. Try that again. As quickly as you can. Number three, we're gonna look at the gathering step. So we're in our regular stance. We realize that we're a little out of distance. You're going to gather up with your back foot and launch forward into your lunge. Again, your nice stance. Bring that back foot in. Lunge. Retreat. Again, as fast as you are able. Number four. 
Number four, we're going to look at the passing lunge. Sometimes you're way too far away for an actual lunge, but you can hit them with a passing lunge. We're going to start with the front leg. You're going to angle it slightly, step through, and throw your lunge. Again, starts with the lead foot, angle, pass through. Solo training can be a bit of a grind, but for those of you that persevere and train on your own, it is worth the effort. Time spent working on form and muscle memory will be its own reward. And remember, if you don't put in the effort, you won't see the results.